Hi, I'm Dr. Kem. I'm a trauma and orthopedic surgery doctor, and this is the Learn How to Suture series with the House of Medics. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to perform the running horizontal mattress suture. To perform this suture, it starts off in the same way as a simple horizontal mattress suture. So I'll perform that for you now. So once, once again, tip of the needle at 90 degrees to the skin and pass through to the other side using the curve of the needle to advance through. When you suit your materials long, you can place your needle down and pull through until you have adequate length for you to tie with. You remount your needle using with the with the using the forceps pointing the tip downwards so that you can perform the horizontal the so you can perform the backward suture pass. Again, needle at 90 degrees to the skin. Pass through to the opposite side. And the same distance. And pass the needle through. Now we're going to tie, tie off the suture in the same way that we have done for any suture that, technique that we use. Two throws over the needle holder. And tighten. One throw in the opposite direction. Cross the hands. And then one more throw back in the original direction. Now we'll cut the short thread. Now you're gonna remount your needle. Again, two thirds distance from the tip of the needle. And now you're just gonna continue performing the horizontal mattress suture. So the next suture pass will be just further down from where you tied your knot, through to the other side. Pull the thread through, reverse the needle for a backhand suture pass, ensuring that as you go, you pull through the suture material as tight as you feel that you need it to close up the wound.
So a forward suture pass this time. Again, coming out at approximately the same level on the other side. Remount your needle. And perform your backward suture and perform your backward suture pass. Once again, pulling as tight as you feel you need to close the wound. I do a few more passes without as much instruction for you to follow along. Now, as we've done before, to complete the suture and tie off at the end, you perform one more pass of the suture. Again, using the curve of the needle to pass it through, leaving a loop of adequate length to tie off on the other side. You can drop your needle down and just as we've done before, two passes. Another throw in the opposite direction. And one more in the original direction. And there, and cut your thread at the end. So that is how you perform the running mattress suture. I hope you found that useful and have been able to follow along with me. To get your own suture pack, visit the link in the description below. Like and subscribe the videos and stay tuned for further tutorials.